I've got the absolute best power supply for the Antminer L3 Pluses. They uh, work really well and you can run three of them off of one on a 220 volt connection. Let me go ahead and uh, give you a look at this thing. One power supply running three Antminer L3 Pluses on its own. No other uh, power supply connected to it. You can see I got a whole nother one sitting right there ready to go. But these are a real cool little setup. You've got your little on and off button right here on the power supply. Once you put it on uh, the first port on, on the actual power supply. You get two of these boards. You'll get uh, enough boards to actually power all three amp miners. Um, all together at once, one shot from the company that I get these from. These are a uh, cool little power supply. Uh, they're uh, made by Delta Electronics. Let's see here, let's get you the uh, part number on this. Um, let's see here, they are the that model number at. There we go. DPS 2400ABA Rev D1F. But it's a, a really cool little power supply. And then, to toss that all off, I got a hold of the actual uh, power cords for a 220 connection. So, uh, I wired in my 220 connection, ran them on uh, 40 amp breakers, and I can actually run 10 amp miner L3 pluses on a 40 amp connection. Um, it'll still keep me under the 40 amps. They run nice and smooth, and uh, actually uh, work to your advantage. Uh, three of these clocked at regular speeds, will pull uh, 10.5 amps. So, like I said, really low amperage, great items. Uh, doing really well for me. I've actually got another uh, 10 of them on the way. I've also got a couple of the uh, um, D3s on the way too, but I uh, suspect those are gonna pull right around uh, four and a half to five amps each. So. Less of those on my connection, but that's fine. But this one power supply will also run two D3s without any problem too. And they'll actually pull less power combined than the three Antminer uh, L3 pluses. I also found a way to get a hold of the actual uh, power cords for these, because it's a uh, specialized power cord. You know, you got your uh, connector there, then you got your C19 connector in the back of them. I actually own quite a few of those power cords now because, like I said, I'm gearing up. I've got quite a few more. There's your C19 connector right there. Not your typical power connector. And then it comes out to this. If you want to know how to get a hold of those, leave me some comments and I will uh, show you how to get a hold of those or actually help you get a hold of those. Um, yeah, it's a C19 to L620P power cord. And like I said, I can get those. I think I know about the only distributor that you can get those from. And as you can see, I like the power supplies so much, I've got two more here ready to go still in the box. Uh, I have uh, everything uh, vented out through vent tubes, um, and then I've got my own little air conditioner cooling my little four foot by four foot room here. All right, if you uh, want to know anything else about this, like where to get the power cords or where to get the power supplies, go ahead and give me some, leave me some comments, and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.